I'm on it. Okay. We have mobilized about 130 medical teams. Currently, 60 are working on the ground, and then 50 of, uh, have already finished and came back. So we have mobilized so many medical teams, and we are thinking this is going to be a long-term operation. So we are rotating, and so to be able to work for a month or even maybe can be for three months. How many people are we talking about? How many people have been affected in the north? Oh, the affected people, we don't know yet. We, we, but apparently, how many the evacuation people? Half a, Half a million is evacuated. And that's both people evacuated from the tsunami and also being removed from their houses because of Fukushima, is that yes, right? Yes, yes. Right. The problems that you're facing in the north with the roads and so on, can you tell me about that Like the, in, in terms of access? Okay, um, there were so many... A so wide area got affected and people are displ di displaced and staying in little places in a, not the big evacuation center. We found that some, a few families got together and just living with collecting some food left in the houses. So we were starting to find those people. So now we are going to reach, uh, we, uh, we have reached and starting to support them. So the wide range of the affected people and the isolation, like the phone, phone and power cut down. It's just hard to capture the whole view of the damage. You're not, uh, your mobility um, to get into areas hasn't been affected by the reactor, by the exclusion zones at all? Or? Um, we're not operating right uh, in the Fukushima area where we have to evacuate. So with the main road, the main highway to get into St. Miyagi and send, uh, the Iwate is about 60 kilometers away from Fukushima. So now, we, now still we can think the main road is possible. But we are also searching the other way around, like going through from Niigata into Miyagi and Iwate in case the radiation evacuation area increases up to 60 kilometers and we can't go that highway. So we are now like thinking of the, another way to get in. Our priority is now the medical services, the, our medical teams are helping the local hospital who's receiving a lot of patients and also we set up the clinic, tent clinic just beside the evacuation centre and also we do the mobile clinic to find those small communities like families get together and living and the importance will be the psychosocial care because the people are so shocked and they've gone such a traumatic experience, the psychosocial support will be important so we are going to have a nurse in each medical team who's specially trained to to give that kind of care. Mm. How does this compare for you working at the Red Cross like in terms of the things that you've seen here? What, how does it, how does, does it compare to anything else at all? Oh, I joined the Red Cross since five years ago so I don't have experience back in the Kobe earthquake but people are saying this is a lot larger than Kobe. Kobe was just a small place was affected but this time it's large places affected and complex emergency and so, and it's also really sad that some of our staff members' family are not found yet, and we have a hospital in Ishinomaki, and some hundred staff members have not been able to contact yet. But I know they are working really hard, and like I've seen some pictures and video our team got back, and how our nurse talked to the victim is really, really um, nice and calm and soft. So I'm proud of them doing it, even though they have their own difficulty. Mm. Do you have any sense of scale of how many people we're talking about? I know that lots of people are saying we just don't know how many people have lost their lives and how many are missing. Does the Red Cross have a, a feel for how many, eventually how big the toll might be in terms of people who are missing? We're not in a responsibility to count the dead bodies, but currently there are towns which you can't, we can't contact with the 10,000 people and so there'll be like, I wouldn't say 100,000 but 50,000 or something people will be dead I think.